This old VHS footage was taken by construction workers during an interior renovation project in Corpus Christi, Texas. It's daytime and well lit, and the building still has a constant eerie vibe. They claim to have seen the ghost of a girl walking across the property, and the air grew cold around them, even though they are in the south. One of them records this mysterious noise coming from the hallway. It sounds like a moan from behind. Take a listen. He calls out for his friend Tom and picks up a strange whispering noise as he turns. Hey, Tom! He pauses outside of an especially dark room and feels watched by a presence within, a force that strips him of his bravery and leaves him small and vulnerable. He sees movements and bolts down the hall. I think I can see the outline of something in the corner here. When the room is brightened, could this be the ghost girl they were talking about? He decides to take one last look in the room and cautiously peeks inside. Rushing footsteps come from within and send him screaming off the job site. What would you do if you saw this happening in your home? Post it to the ghosts subreddit by Raymond Powell. Raymond writes, Not proof, but it definitely freaked me out. Looking for advice. A screwdriver sitting on the counter is moving on its own with no one and nothing near it to cause such behavior. Raymond runs over to the cupboard, opening it to see if there's anything under the counter that might trigger it. He turns up nothing. Picking up the screwdriver, he looks around his home. When he starts hearing random pounding coming from above, he gets his step stool to open the hatch above his attic. He calls out a greeting but catches nothing up there on camera. While some in the comments were waiting for a jump scare, others like redditor everything is dumb 0624 were trying to find answers. You either got a ghost or a person living in your crawl space, he writes. I'm not sure which one would be worse. It's late at night when an unusual looking mist makes the driver pull over and start recording. Something is off about the scenery. It doesn't look or feel natural. And less than a minute later, this appears directly in front of them. First orbs dance all around, and then the fog clumps together to form a phantom reaching out. I've never seen fog behave like this, and the way it rises looks just like a person standing up. There's no denying the shape is human, and if you look close enough, you can make out its entire body, head, shoulders, arms and all. The phantom vanishes as quickly as it came, leaving the person standing by the side of the road wondering what they really just saw. A dad and a daughter are all smiles as they board an elevator. The ride is smooth and they look at themselves in the mirror for about 30 seconds, completely unaware of how unsafe they actually are. Minutes later, the empty elevator is ripping past floors with enough speed to shake the entire carriage. The door is slightly open and nothing is working properly as the lift slams into the roof hard enough to dislodge panels and light fixtures. Thankfully, no passengers were on board, but had the two from earlier still been inside, it would have been a daddy-daughter demise for certain. I can only wonder how many times something like this has almost happened to you or me without realizing. The Malaysian district of Sabak Burnam recently had an odd occurrence take over the entire village in November of 2020. That's when residents began to hear this sound. Phantom knocking at odd hours day and night, it's kind of hard to see through the glass, but let me put it to you this way, if I can tell there is a white car parked out front, then I definitely should be able to see the outline of whoever is pounding hard enough to rattle this door, and yet, nothing's there. This video and others like it remain unexplained.
If a whole village were faking this, then surely at least one person would have accidentally confessed by now. Months later, nobody has. Based on this paranormal evidence, I'd say something actually appears to be haunting this village. Become a storm chaser or head to the cellar. This homeowner did both when the Cedar Rapids derecho storm blew into his neighborhood. Published to YouTube by E. Hindman in August of 2020, this footage shows a quick as lightning storm roll in, one that devastated Iowa for hundreds of miles around. Hinman said he daringly took some footage of the storm out his window, setting up a camera there before safeguarding himself in the basement. What he captured was half an hour of one of the most brutal storms you'll ever see. The video shows the storm rile up ferociously, wind and rain whipping through while tree branches roll like tumbleweed down the road. At some point, the trees are just being thrown full stop. The sturdy looking pine that stands in Hinman's front yard, which has made it this far, doesn't make it out alive. Its stump breaks clean in half and another larger tree falls across the yard. They are blown away with the others. Hindman writes, the damage in this area of Iowa was like being hit by a 40 mile wide tornado. The storm took four lives, cut off power to nearly the entire city, contributed to the record tying 16 billion dollars worth of weather damage that impacted the US last year, according to the Washington Post. Will this couple live happily ever after? Shared by YouTube channel Blah Blah, this video was originally posted on TikTok. The mysterious video of what appears to be a wedding party is trending in the Arabic speaking YouTube community. A pair of newlyweds sit together with a forlorn look on their faces, while an officiant reads through some documents or scripture with the wedding party gathered round. We can assume all is normal, but a moment later something unsettling happens. Watch the bride-to-be. What came over her? Her eyes grow wide as though she suddenly become possessed by something. She then follows an unknown object above before having a strange fit and appearing to silently scream in pain. Did a mysterious force from above possess her? Or did that force simply strike in that moment and cause her agonizing pain? It's hard for me to tell here what may have happened without further context or an extended video, but if I had to guess, I'd say something possessed her. It's all in the eyes. What is this toy doing? in the center of this haunted building. You're about to find out. Originally posted to TikTok by Texas Ghost Hunters, this clip has me terrified. The ghost hunters are hearing noises all around them. <laughs> now watch the toy at the center of the hallway. As the toy rolls toward them repeatedly, they start to panic, but when they are brave enough to get closer, they see that nothing is attached.
I'm not sure how this toy would have moved other than by the hands of a malevolent spirit. I personally think this place is 100% haunted. Do you? Vintage footage recovered from Michigan shows creepy things in the woods, scary stuff that you and I were never meant to see. Things get weird when the family dog begins guarding them and tracking smells. Something out here has had the animal on high alert for the whole time. Whatever it is has apparently gotten close to camp the night before. On their final day, they decide to let the dog roam as far as it wants. It tracks a scent deep into the forest where they've caught a scary unknown creature sighting on camera that I'm not sure they survived. The animal looks like a bear, but runs like something completely different. We only get a glimpse of it before the cameraman runs, but in those scary moments, some say that this is a sighting of the Michigan Dog Man, a legendary humanoid creature lurking in the woods. Dog Man or not, it has a pretty good head start on them. This does not look like a warning charge, therefore I would not be surprised if this creepy vintage video was found in the woods many years later. A YouTube channel called The Yak Attack FL has to think fast and battle back when a hammerhead shark takes an interest in them. A single sudden movement could tip over the kayak, so he has to remain balanced and sitting down while adrenaline courses through him. There's nothing left to do but try to scare it away however they can. He smacks the shark with his paddle and you don't see it, but you can hear the force as he connects. This just drives the shark closer to the person recording, and in this moment you can tell that it has the extra wide jaws and flat head of a real hammerhead shark. As these tooth marks later show, the shark was testing them and would have been ready to take a chomp out of any arms or legs hanging over. Eventually it gets tired of their battling back and leaves them in peace. So if you were stuck in a one person kayak and sharks start to circle, do you think this is an appropriate way to handle it? I don't think I could personally get aggressive like this towards the shark, but as this video shows, it may have saved these fishermen. And I always look up to the sky and I always say, hi, dad. That's how a YouTuber named Jennifer Moen5 pays her respects to her dad, who has since passed on. Then one day, it looks like her father says hello back to her and her family. <laughs> You can see a shimmering orb rise and fall to the ground as soon as she says hi to her father. I wanted to add that this is the only paranormal video on Jennifer's channel, which otherwise focuses on enjoying wholesome moments with family, so I really don't think this is video editing. I also wanted to ask that everyone please show the utmost respect when telling me if you believe this is real or fake, since it deals with the memory of a loved one. Never in a million years should you cross this bridge? Posted to TikTok by Real Horror Talk, a man on a motorcycle enters onto a narrow wooden bridge crossing a wide and fast moving river. There are no railings. Let's watch. As he rides steadily across, he looks to his right and then to his left. The water is flowing rapidly past. He continues on as if he does this every day, and maybe he does. Those in the comments say when he looked left, they fell in the water. Others say it's like a terrible dream, but TikToker Trust Me has a more accurate reading. He writes, how my parents got to school. I think we've all been there. A YouTuber named The Star Breed notices a bright white object floating upwards and starts recording. The weird object somewhat looks like a street lamp, except it's way up in the air and seems to be heading in the Star Breed's direction at a fast rate of speed. Moments later, it is only a fraction of its original size and hovering directly overhead, twice as high as before. The star braid continues to record in total disbelief, not even so much as making a sound, just quietly zooming in. Just when it looks like the unidentified flying object is about to go away, it does something completely different instead.
He records a brief strobe light effect and then the UFO is gone. Looking back at the footage, the Starbreed has little doubt that this was actually an abduction attempt on him that was aborted at the last possible second. I'm not sure if this was a real encounter or just CGI. As I said before, it almost looks like the UFO could be one of the street lamps edited. Take a look at the evidence again and let me know what you think really happened here. While investigating this demon house, YouTube team KBC Cazadores de Fantasmas encounters a real life demon. In the wilderness, they start to get a wild EMF reading. Then they break out a thermal camera and capture this. Grace, cuidado, Grace. Grace. And they later captured the devil in their spirit box session. O diabo. Paulo Sermon. Pedro, que esperto, Pedro. They also take a photo in which something spooky is captured. These are just the grounds of the demon house. I feel that there's definitely something haunting this property, but we'll have to tune into the final episode of the series to find out. It's after midnight and a YouTuber named Angie, the Green Eyed Angel, is exploring a ghost town that is completely abandoned. She isn't even finished the introduction to her video before weird stuff starts happening. It took me a couple of listens, but I can actually hear the wind whispering her name here. Abandoned ghost town. Hopefully you can see it behind me. I swear, I just heard my name. Apparently the wind has other things to say as well. Strange noises continue to follow Angie as she sneaks through old buildings filled with spider webs and rotting architecture. After about 20 minutes of exploring, Angie stops and thinks she sees a grayish figure looking back at her. Oh, I don't know if the camera can even see it. <laughs> Footsteps from behind send her screaming into the night. While driving down a macabre road, searching for souls, this paranormal team found one. Published by Thiago Ferracao in May of 2022, a mysterious man made a cameo in their search, and it was a memorable one. Using a spirit box, Thiago tries to communicate with the paranormal while they drive down the creepy road between cornfields. When he asks if the spirit is there, he is answered. Dele Thaís. But creepier than even the spirit is when they encounter this, a mysterious man is standing frozen in the road ahead and he doesn't move. Thiago gets out of the vehicle to approach him. When he does, the man changes his posture. Thiago! Thiago races back to the car, and when the camera turns back to the road, the mysterious man has disappeared. Was this man the spirit they were communicating with, or is there even more to fear with the living? Two days prior to this video, a YouTuber the series of Tube's house was broken into. Now he is riding around his neighborhood when he sees a suspicious person who looks out of place. Upon questioning, the man claims that he has lived in this neighborhood since 1992. The two have never met before, but somehow he knows exactly where this YouTuber lives. Oh yeah, you guys are kind of in that little dark little corner area too, you know? Yeah. Yeah, no, I tell you. The longer they talk, the less sense the stranger makes, especially when he randomly pulls out a huge crowbar without prompting and says this. Okay. Yeah, I was laying on you the sidewalk. You found that? Yeah, just laying around on the sidewalk, right? You know? Yeah, I okay. can. 
The crowbar looks large enough to easily pry open a door or window and gain entry. I'm not sure what his intentions are. Maybe he really did find it laying around. Or maybe he is up to no good. Tell me if you believe him when he says this next part, especially with all of the other things I've shown you. Yeah, you need ask cops. I'm a good guy. It's all right. The series of tubes remains friendly enough throughout the conversation, but does mention that he has a firearm in his house that he doesn't want to use on anyone. The two part ways, at least for now. Strange things have been happening in this guy's house, which he says seem demonic. Published by Cayman Poe in May of 2011, he and his friends are up at 1 in the morning, waiting to see if anything unusual happens. After a time, they hear something from outside the room. They go downstairs to check it out but find nothing. Hello? But after heading back to their room, they hear another sound, this one louder than the last. They return downstairs and notice that the bathroom door is now closed. When they tell the demon to show himself or reveal that he's there, he does. They race back upstairs while considering calling the cops, but when they hear the demon again... Hello? I hear the kid. They are lured downstairs. The door is open. This time, the demon doesn't wait for them. Who left? What the fuck? Sometimes when you're looking for the past on, you find the living. Published by H.D. Adam in February of 2022, this paranormal crew faces off with a very angry, alive dude. While exploring what they think is an abandoned building, they first see this strange image reflected in a window. It looks like an angry face, but are we just imagining that? <laughs> A minute later, the face remains. One of the crew goes to check an adjacent door. After finding it locked, he turns away. A moment later, something bangs loudly on the door. Continuing on, they open the door to another room and find this mysterious man sitting in the darkness. The man seems angry. He stands up and starts yelling at them. He tells the crew to get out of his house, and they are soon pushed out with force. Next time, they'd better be sure no one's home. Thank you so much for getting me to 40,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Can you help me reach 50,000 subscribers? Thank you.